What's up everyone? Welcome to Max Public Land Hunting and Outdoors. Today I got a good show for you. My son's in town. He's been out of town since April. He's in the Army. First time he's been back home, so we're glad to have him home uh, for Christmas. But anyway, he wants to go fox squirrel hunting and deer hunting one time. This is the first hunt um, that we've been on since last year. So we're headed to the fox squirrel woods. Now these woods are going to be dry, even though it's rained a lot here in North Carolina. Hasn't rained in about a week. So uh, these fox squirrels live in a longleaf pine forest. It's they burn and they live on the edge down there with thick bottoms. They usually stay out of the thick bottoms though. Um, but you get them from the edge of the thick bottoms into the lonely pines. There's scrub oaks all on those pines. So there's going to be crunchy walking. So the best tactic right now is just to walk a little bit. Find a good spot where the squirrel sign and we'll sit for 30 minutes, 20-30 minutes. Move to another spot, sit for 20-30 minutes. That's what we're going to do today. If it's real like had just rained and everything was damp, you could walk around all day real slowly and just kind of catch them on the move. But today is just we're going to sit and walk and sit and walk. It's going to be an awesome day. I'm going to be using my 16 gauge Winchester 37A full choke. My son's going to be using the Ithaca Model 37A feather light. Awesome guns. We use shotguns because these big squirrels, these big fox squirrels, spend more time on the ground than gray squirrels. And if you walk up on one, instead of them climbing up a tree, they will do that every now and then, but instead of climbing up a tree, normally they just take off, they run over the next hill, run out of sight, and then they go up a tree. So anyway, let's get busy. Let's get into the fox squirrel woods, and let's see if we can find us a big old fat fox squirrel. Woo! is that way about 100 yards so I'm going to sit here about an hour this is a really good spot where they come through all the time so we can get this about an hour Guys, I've set three spots, haven't seen anything. I started to move to another spot and I found a good spot. I've got a tree that's got a nest in it. Right there. There's a tree on the other side of me. There's a tree on the other side of me, it's got a bunch of holes in it. Looks like a good spot. I'm probably gonna sit here till dark. Um, but this looks like a good spot. Got a big loblolly. Not that gonna be eating anything out of that this time of year. But it's a good spot. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna sit here till dark.
Hey guys, you see that fox squirrel nest up there in the fork of that tree? A fox squirrel nest is usually about twice as big as a gray squirrel nest. They're easy to spot, they're so big. And unlike gray squirrels, they do not put them out on the end of limbs. They're usually in between a big fork. Because they're so heavy, they'll fall if they're not in a fork. So if you've got a big nest and a fork, it's most likely a fox squirrel nest. Okay guys, right here, I'm looking for a fox squirrel. I was sitting at that tree with the nest, and I heard a fox squirrel bark. Now a fox squirrel bark is distinguishable from a gray squirrel bark uh, because it's a deeper bark. Um, it's a bigger squirrel, so it's a, just a deeper bark, just like a man has a, a deeper voice than a child. A fox squirrel has a deeper bark than a gray squirrel. I looked and looked, but I could not find this squirrel. Hey guys, I think my boy just got one. Riding near him, shot twice. I think it was my boy. I'm gonna go up there and see what's going on. Hopefully he got a nice one. Oh, check this out, guys. Oh, that's a pretty one. Where was he? Like down there, down there, about 50 meters that way, the one in the little trees. Something like a sleep on him. I heard him a little bit. He was jumping from the tops of the trees. Those pine trees over there. I heard him on the top of one of them. Alright, guys, my son got a beautiful black fox squirrel. Shot it with a 12 gauge Ithaca. He's going to show it to you right now. Hold him up right there. Ah, oh, he's got some nice fur on him too. That's, mm -hmm. that's going to make a nice mount. How to get him mounted. Hold him up one more time, we'll get some, we can take some steel pictures from it. Nice squirrel. Yep. Nice squirrels, guys. What we did today was too, it was kind of too dry to walk around with slow, so we sat in about three or four different spots and just waited on them. Ooh, there's a deer scrape right there. Mm -hmm. Look. I guess some of this. Guys, I got deer scrape. Right there below a licking branch. But anyway, guys, just get out and hunt them. Hunt the lonely pines. Say, good job, son. <laughs> awesome. Anyway, guys, hit the subscribe button. It's going to be right there. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Woo!